I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. Philosophy, nature, is written in that great book which ever is before our eyes, I mean the universe, but we cannot understand it if we do not first learn the language and grasp the symbols in which it is written. The book is written in mathematical language, and the symbols are triangles, circles and other geometrical figures, without whose help it is impossible to comprehend a single word of it, without which one wanders in vain through a dark labyrinth. For in the sciences the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. Besides, the modern observations deprive all former writers of any authority, since if they had seen what we see, they would have judged as we judge. Long experience has taught me this about the status of mankind with regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them, while on the other hand to know and understand a multitude of things renders men cautious in passing judgment upon anything new. My dear Kepler, what would you say of the learned here, who, replete with the pertinacity of the ASP, have steadfastly refused to cast a glance through the telescope? What shall we make of this? Shall we laugh, or shall we cry? I esteem myself happy to have as great an ally as you in my search for truth. I will read your work, all the more willingly because I have for many years been a partisan of the Copernican view because it reveals to me the causes of many natural phenomena that are entirely incomprehensible in the light of the generally accepted hypothesis. To refute the latter I have collected many proofs, but I do not publish them, because I am deterred by the fate of our teacher Copernicus who, although he had one immortal fame with a few, was ridiculed and condemned by countless people, for very great is the number of the stupid. See now the power of truth, the same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. They seem to forget that the increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment and growth of the arts, not their diminution or destruction. I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. Passion is the genesis of genius. You cannot teach a man anything, you can only help him find it within himself. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night.